same face. The camera's off center. Move over. All right, what's up, guys? My name is William Jossel. I'm a photographer. My name is Sam Carangelo, and I'm a hair and makeup artist. Damn it. Yeah, so basically, we just asked a bunch of people, you know, to send us questions and ask us things that they will want to know about our careers and things that we do as artists. So basically, we're just going to start reading off uh, questions. We'll give people's names of who asked what, and we'll just go from there. Go ahead. <laughs> you sound so nervous. I ain't bruh. Okay, Alex Fink wants to know, was there ever a time where you seriously considered giving up on everything? And if so, what was it that kept you motivated? Um, I mean, I don't really think there's ever a time that I ever considered giving up. Um, I mean, shit's real hard. Like, obviously, like, any of your pre- Whatever you did before you're an artist, um, like, leaving that job is extremely hard. Um, obviously, like, with me being a photographer, like, technology, it's expensive as hell. Um, it takes, it takes, like, a lot of courage as well as money um, to be able to get where you want to be and, and to have the means, like, of, like, equipment to do what you want to do. Um, it was definitely scary as shit leaving my original job to do what I do now, but... It just gets to a point where like you just like you don't, I don't you just get so frustrated because you're not doing what you want to do and then eventually you just kind of you know give up and and move on and do what you want to do which is exactly where like why i am where i am right now you sound like a robot do i <laughs> you're, literally, you're literally like sound, and then i went to my I sound monotone dude it's whatever it's your voice it's cool this mountain biking dude is that it? Do you want to hear questions? Because I literally have four on my phone. And don't pick the <laughs> one. <laughs> Dick. We have to make it funny because no one's going to watch it if we're boring. Bruh. Bruh. <clears throat> oh my god, what's that? <laughs> no, don't be asking me no dumb shit. Alright. Um, MKE filmmaker asks, "What projects are you the can't see your face. what <laughs> what projects are the most challenging? What projects it'll are the probably, most challenging? Be hair. Um, I don't think so. I think um, the most challenging thing for me is when I have an idea in my head, um, and this is where Will kind of plays a kind of big part, even though I don't like him." Um, when you have an idea in your head, it's frustrating because there's been certain times where I'll have an idea in my head, I'll pay certain people, and then, especially for marketing and advertising and everything else, you pay out all this money, and then it's not the vision that you have in your head. <laughs> okay, wait, ask me again. I was fine. Did that make no. sense? No. Guys, that's insulting because she hires me to do her shit, so that's basically like her just saying no, the shit I'm that I... No, I'm saying you like, you do a good job. I'm saying in the past, I've paid people and it's not what I want. So when it's your brand and when it's your company, it's frustrating because you want to portray your company in a certain way. She's coming at me. No, I'm not. He's pretty good most days. Um, but no, that for me is the most frustrating. It's kind of just finding people, one, that you vibe with because honestly, I don't really like a lot of people. So finding people that you vibe with and you create like good work, like dope work together, that's really hard to find, right? And it's, that I think is the most frustrating thing for me. All right, so same question for me, what projects are the most fun? Um, you didn't say fun, you said frustrating. You <laughs> oh, what projects are the most challenging? Uh, weddings. I mean, that kind of, any photographer will understand that statement. Um, weddings, there's so much involved. Um, there's so many people, so many things can go wrong. Um, yeah, I, I kind of feel like that's self-explanatory. Anybody that's, even if you haven't been to a wedding, um, like as somebody that's working, even if you just attended one, you know like how much is involved in everything that goes into it. So that's definitely the most challenging. fun 
All right, Brandon Missimer asks, where do you want to travel to? Reggio, I want to travel to everywhere. Um, Miami? I've been to Miami. Shit's old. <laughs> um, <laughs> no, I think here, I when I say everywhere, because I love, I think traveling is probably one of my passions because every time I travel, I experience new things. And especially, and I know he can relate, when you're from a small town, you get so used to like the, like the same things over and over again. So... Like my first time when I went to New York and I traveled to New York, especially like when I started the hair and makeup and everything, it just like, oh, when you travel, it just like expands like your mind. Like you see things and even people and like ideas and you're like, when you're from a small town, like you see the same people doing the same shit over and over again. But anyways, um, where I want to travel everywhere because yeah. back, back to my original thought, I just love traveling and it expands your mind. And especially with our, you know, entrepreneurship companies, it just... I feel as though it kind of just expands your mind and you see new things. All right, so that question for me, um, I mean, I'm definitely down to travel anywhere, really, but I mean, I guess if there's like one spot that comes to mind, it would probably be, um, I get, I, I would probably say Iceland. I mean, I feel like that's another spot a lot of other photographers would say. Um, crazy landscapes, different culture. Um, you know what? I have to give him credit for a second. So, like, put somebody by a tree and, like, make them look cute, for the record. I'll give him that credit. Because, and then not all people can do that. Like, he can make someone look good when they're, like, I don't know. Anyways, go back to what you're doing. That's my only compliment I'll ever give you. <laughs> All right, so next question. I forget which ones I have. <laughs> no, you're mad ugly. Okay, okay. Um, <clears throat> how long does it typically take you to do clients' makeup? And this is asked Can you get the from. Out of your face? This is this is asked from Alexis Landis. How long does it take me to do someone's makeup? Um, I typically like to have an hour with them, um, especially a new client. I mean, I don't know. If, you're, if it's your first time in my chair, I have no idea <laughs> what your face looks like. I mean, skin. Did you just call? No. No. I don't think I did, did I? I'm just like, uh. <laughs> I don't know. Um, God, now you messed me up. So I typically like an hour with my clients, if, especially if it's a new client. Weddings especially, I like to have an hour. Um, just because you never know what's gonna sit in your chair and like I want your face to obviously look the best possible. So I typically like an hour. Anything less, I feel like I'm rushed. Okay, um. What about that mom one? My mom one? <clears throat> just because you have a crush on her, that's why I want me to ask you. Shout out to Sam's mom. <laughs> All right, here's another one. This one's asked again by. Get the phone out of your face. Uh, yeah. This. You're this, welcome. This here's another one. This one again is asked by Alexis Landis. What was your worst experience with a client? My worst experience with a client is Obviously, this for him. Obviously, don't say makeup? names. No, yeah. I won't say names. What is my worst experience? Um, all right, so, yeah, we won't name names. So one of my clients, um, she was like a flip-flopper, right? So she would go from red hair to blonde hair, and then, you know what I mean? She would just flip-flop back and forth. So I was kind of new. I was still, um, I would say it was probably within my first year of graduating school. Um, and by that time, I didn't really have any, like, traumatic things happen. So, I don't know. It was kind of just coming. I knew it was coming. So, long story short, she was flip-flopping from red to blonde, which anybody that does hair knows that the hair can only take so much. So, I did the same thing that, like, I was doing. Like, I lightened her, whatever, and blase, blase. And her hair melted off. Yeah, I would say a good, I mean, she had long hair, so, um, but yeah, no, it was. What does that even mean? It fell out? Like, it, it broke. Like, her hair broke, so when I was in the bowl, I swear, guys, I'm really good at hair. This is just, like, a really, um, but she was my friend, and we're still friends now, so it's fine. Um, but yeah, I mean, her hair in the bowl, it just.
melted off. <laughs> and I cried and she cried, but you know what? Her hair's fine, it's growing. And lesson learned though, bitches, don't be trying to flip flop your hair. And now that was the biggest learning experience too is because um, now I'll just say no. Like I kind of, before I was kind of too nice about it just because I wanted like I wanted clients to come to me you know what I mean and now it's um I definitely have more of like a no your hair is gonna fall out like I don't I tell people that like so you just mean now no I'm not mean I just tell it like it is all right fair enough <laughs> all right so so that question for myself um I mean I've really never had like a disaster client it's not like anybody ever got hurt or you know, if somebody like never paid me or anything like that. I mean, the worst thing that's probably ever happened is just like, just like clients visions weren't aligning with mine. Um, me too. Um, me people like they, they just, it, it wasn't how they like vision things to go. So like reshoots um, had to happen. That's probably about the worst thing that ever happened God, to me. yours is so boring compared to mine. Get my shit done right the first time. <laughs> All right, so this one's directed towards me. Um, it's from T. Ezekiel. Um, Move your phone. When was your first paid shoot and what was the shoot of? Um, first paid shoot ever was actually through family. Um, which is what I would recommend doing anyways. Like if you're gonna start shooting, especially getting paid, like having clients that are like friends or family is way easier on the nerves. Um, but it was just like a general like family session with like my aunt and her kids. Um, I mean, it was real easy. Everything went, everything was cool. Um, it was definitely like a, obviously it's, like I said, it's better than you know, having a session with some stranger and you're like, yeah, I'm getting paid for the first time. I don't, like, what do I do? How do I go about this? It's a lot easier with family. All right, this is from Juan, dude. Stop requesting me on Fortnite because I don't play it. All right, so this is, I guess this will be the last one. Um, I mean, this is kind of a question that I'm just gonna ask on my own, but where are you trying to be in two years? Where am I trying to be in two years? I'm trying to be like the next Anastasia Deep. Beverly. Get uh, well, in two years, I want my makeup to be all over the United States for one. What makeup? Oh, uh, my makeup line, Sick Thin Rose, www.sickthinrose. <laughs> um, yeah, my makeup line, check it out. Instagram, Facebook, I don't have a Twitter yet. I should probably do that. Um. But my makeup line, yeah, I want that all over the United States. That would be major. Um, what, am I, what do I want in two years? Definitely want my own salon. Um, and I think a big part of, and the more I, you know, do this hair and makeup thing, I think one of my biggest passions is like truly motivating people, male, female, whatever. Um, and I. She don't motivate me. Use a lie, whatever. You don't ever hype. She don't ever hype me up. Anyways, um, no, but I think it's very hard, and that's why, look, see, I'm giving you props again. This is um, but that's why I like working with Will, because you, like I said, you find people that, first of all, you just have to vibe with, and then you create just dope shit. So, um, and he motivates me at the same time. Like, there's just people in my life right now that if you are not motivating me and you are not, we're not being successful, then I want nothing to do with you. Um, but the more that I do, do this i love motivating people um so i don't know maybe we'll be like a youtube sensation or something in two years that'd be fun yeah no nah, i've um i've talked to <laughs> no no i'm going into something different now i've talked i've talked to people like many times um to like back up what sam says like i've talked to people several times about like um basically okay. shit that she's doing and it's kind of like I guess everybody has kind of heard this before, like you need to surround yourself with people that have the same goals. And Not even like, the same goals, but that are just motivated and... I mean the same, like they're trying to accomplish like the same general... Okay. Like success. Got you. Just kidding. Um, Didn't mean to keep on. Yeah, she, um, 
she definitely has that trait. Definitely one of the hardest working people I know, which is why it's like. Five with it. Five with it. Five with it. Um, you can probably walk through a fire and thunderstorm, and her lipstick will still stay <laughs> on. So that's a, that's another that's another. Then one. there's that. That's actually the most important part. Um. <laughs> yeah, no. Nah, at the end of the day, man, it's just like. It's just two fucking people that just took the step that needed to happen to do what they want to do. Um, every day is a struggle. Staying it's not late. easy at all. It drives me crazy. Sorry, I haven't cut you off again, but it drives me crazy when I, I don't ever mind helping people. I don't ever mind answering questions, but when people come to me and ask me like what exactly I did. Um, Work. Yeah, work. Like, you do research. Like, you... I, I don't know. I just... It drives me crazy when people think that I'll just be like, oh, here you go. Like, I'm just going to tell you everything, all the hard work, and literally years. I probably started this makeup, like, three, four years ago, and it only even came to light. I think I have my year, and it's been, like, a year and a half. So, it's, it's just work, and it's not easy, and it's never... It's really never going to be easy. Where do you see yourself in two years? Dead. <laughs> You're f um. Nah, I just like. I just want to continue shooting for myself. I don't really ever want. Like, I mean, obviously, you can be a photographer and work for companies. I mean, you can work for Vogue. I mean, you can work for, you know, digital. You know. I mean, news stations, newspapers, whatever. Um, I just want to continue working for myself. Um, like, the goal would be just to continue to, to achieve bigger and bigger clients. I mean, I'm at the point now where, like, it's, it's becoming less and less individuals. Um, and it's becoming more brands, which is exactly how I want it to be. Her being one of them. Um... Yeah, I just want to. I, I want to get to the point where I'm like working with nothing but brands. Um, I feel like brands understand the value of a dollar more. Um, sure do. They're they're you know they're better able to like comprehend pricing and and things that you're asking um, because they you know they understand like what it basically takes to be a business. Um, yeah, I just want to continue working for brands and and work for bigger brands um i mean traveling which has kind of been covered um i'm finally like getting into that too like being able to like travel and be paid to travel for clients um yeah so that would be it just work for bigger brands and just continue to travel anything else i don't think so yo www dot what is it what is yours? Mine? Yeah. Sixthandrose.com. S I X T H. Oh! We go get food. I'm hungry. Huh? Bless your trap. Love her, bless your trap. Love her, bless your trap. Bless your trap. Love her, bless your trap. Love her, bless your trap. Bless your trap. Love her, bless your trap.